Hey guys, Seraph here, back for more chemistry explanation. Today, we'll be talking about easy ways to determine which salts are soluble and which salts are not. Salts are categorized into three groups of solubility, definitely soluble, mostly soluble, and mostly insoluble. But before we go into explaining each of the different categories, let's briefly touch on what is a salt. Salts are ionic compounds made out of metal and non-metal ions. Metals will always form positive ions, known as cations and non-metal will always form negative ions known as anions. Here is an easy way to remember which is which. A cation has a T in the word that looks just like a giant plus sign. Use this to remember its positive charge. Now that we have the definitions out of the way, let's start with the easiest category, the definitely soluble salts. As previously mentioned, salts are made of cations and anions. If a salt is made with cations, such as sodium, potassium, ammonium, or any group 1 element from the periodic table, it must be soluble. If a salt is made with nitrates as the anion component, it is definitely soluble. The main takeaway for this part is, any salts that contain spa, group 1 elements, or nitrates are definitely soluble. Now on the second category, the mostly soluble salts. This is a category that students will want to pay more attention to, since most exam questions will tend to use this category of salts. Chlorides and sulfates are two types of salts in this category. All chloride salts are soluble, except lead chloride and silver chloride. All sulfate salts are soluble, except barium sulfates, calcium sulfates, and lead sulfates. Here is how to remember them. Use the phrase, lost ship becomes Chinese lunch. In order to remember the particular list of salts, arrange the two chloride salts and the three sulfate salts in an alphabetical order. Now, let's talk about the third and last category, the mostly insoluble salts. Most salts under this category refuse to become soluble, just think of them as really stubborn rocks. But as with all things, there are always exceptions. So here it is. All carbonates are insoluble, except for spa and group 1 elements in the periodic table. All oxides and hydroxides are insoluble, except for spa, group 1 elements with two extra elements. Barium and Calcium, remember with the mnemonics, Butter Cookies. In summary, all salts are categorized into three groups, definitely soluble, mostly soluble, and mostly insoluble. First category, definitely soluble salts, includes salt with spa, group 1, and nitrates. Second category, mostly soluble salts, are chlorides and sulfates. All chlorides are soluble, except lead and silver. All sulfates are soluble, except barium, calcium, lead. Third category, mostly insoluble salts, are carbonates, oxides, and hydroxides. All carbonates are insoluble, except spa and group 1. All oxides and hydroxides are insoluble, except spa, group 1, barium, and calcium. And that's how we determine the solubility of salts. Hey, Seraph here. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. See you next time.